My name is Sam Yusufov. I, I was born in Baku, Azerbaijan. I came to Australia in 2001 and I'm going to church St. Paul's Castle Hill. I, was, I grew up in a nice family. It's a happy childhood, um, but um, being in communist country, it, it, it was a part of Soviet, Soviet Union and uh, being in communist country, we've been taught from childhood um, that God doesn't exist and um, no one believes in God unless they are uneducated, narrow-minded or old people. So I still remember uh, when I was five or six, um, uh, I'd read the book by myself and uh, book, it was a popular children's book and it was saying that God doesn't exist. And uh, I was very proud and ran to my grandma and she was a believer and I'd tell her, God doesn't exist, I just read in the book and you are wrong, I'm right. But um, after finishing uni, then um, suddenly the Soviet Union collapsed. So a few of my friends um, and myself, we started business in computers and uh, it's become very successful. And um, we, in fact, become one of the biggest company in our region. So, but when you become uh, a bit bigger than average, you attract all these corrupt political groups. And we attracted interest from these groups and uh, they start to um, trying to bring us in the in their groups in their activities, but we kind of we are friends. We didn't we weren't interested in that, so we uh, tried to avoid this. We said we're not interested, then but they start to pressurize us, and when government changed, it became even more harder. So I decided to leave country. Uh, I started a small business in Dubai and moved to to Emirates. Um, we lost everything and um, starting a new place with my family who followed me straight away. With my two young children, it was quite difficult. Uh, the children was uh, about one and a half and five years old at that time. So with, with no, no money and new country, new language, so it was quite hard. When things get difficult, you start to ask God, uh, do you exist or who you are? And, which way to go? Um, is uh, Jesus right or Muhammad or Buddha? So I remember as I was even talking to each other with my, my wife Nara, uh, we prayed and say, God, if you're real, if you, <clears throat> if you exist, show us the way. And soon after we met one Australian family. Um, they were very, and we become very good friends. Um, uh, they were nice people, they, they, they helped us and they were Christian. So one day they invited us to church um, in Dubai and we went there. It was nice, good experience, but at that time we, we just we just liked it. They just all experienced and see nice people there, friendly people. But slowly things start to change. Um, but we thought, and it's, things start to get better, but we thought it's just a luck. And then um, we, applied for a visa to Australia and um, when we got the visa we came here uh, and um, our friends from Dubai, uh, the friends we met there, uh, offered us to stay with them for a couple of months which we did and was, they were very kind to us. After some time the friends invited us to church and that church was St. Paul's Castle Hill and, um, and from, from the first day when uh, We've heard the sermon <coughs> and preacher. I was preaching and um, after that, um, uh, after we've been attending church for a year maybe or so, uh, we decided to be, we wanted to be baptized and um, our children want to be baptized with us. Uh, and it was just uh, amazing because we didn't have any influence on our children. God just look after them and touch their hearts and they, um, and they become, they want to be baptized with us as well. And ask God, what can I say and what can I uh, tell people? And I saw that clear vision when, when I was standing at six years old and um, in front of my grandma and telling her God doesn't exist. So that time, I think um, God showed me when this journey started. God's plan for to save us uh, through Jesus' sacrifice makes sense for me. Uh, it's that, I think that moment when I understood what God went through 
to say was um, that moment that clicked and I, I started to appreciate what he'd done for us. When I didn't know him, he was still with me and helping and waiting for me, waiting patiently to see me at the end of the journey as well. So that's, that's really relief and hope, so knowing that he always with us. Actually, he, he all loves, loves all of us and he waits patiently for those who lost to come to him.